Hey folks, it's Adria. So I just got back a little bit ago from the second session of the Ruby on Rails study group that I joined and Hadia is leading it. She's an engineer, she's a developer, and she's working on two startups right now. So I thought that this would be a really great group for me to join. So let me tell you what we focused on this week. Uh, we went ahead and made sure we had a Ruby installed and set up. Uh, if you are running a Leopard 10.5 or later, like I'm running Snow Leopard 10.6 on my Mac, uh, Ruby's already installed and available. I have version 1.87, so I was good to go there. Uh, the next thing we did was we installed uh, Ruby Gems, um, which is a way to manage uh, all of the different, uh, how can I say, um, packages? Yes, um, or add-ons uh, for Ruby. And then we made sure you know Rails was installed as well. So Rails is a framework, although I called it frosting. Because <laughs> I'm like, yes, Ruby is a programming language, and Rails is like the frosting, okay, which is kind of true. Anyway, uh, after that, then we went ahead and installed Git. Um, I don't remember what version um, Git was on, uh, but we didn't configure it, but we will be using GitHub uh, as our repository. Um, last week, what we worked on uh, for the study group, it's kind of interesting. We started off wireframing and then converting that to HTML CSS. This week we spent some time talking about how there are some people who work in Photoshop and Illustrator. They're great designers, but they actually have no development skills at all. So yeah, one, they can't code HTML CSS and they don't know anything about PHP or any programming languages. They don't touch databases. So it's really a beautiful thing when you have basically three people <laughs> three, <laughs> three people wrapped in one. So when you have a designer uh, someone who can, you know, uh, write uh, and create a uh, website code and pages, and then we have a developer. I think that's pretty awesome. So, um, yeah, it's great, great get together again. We went out uh, for food and drinks afterwards, and I'm really excited. This week's homework will be to go ahead and you know get your environment set up and running. Next week, what we're going to work on is building a simple application. We also spent time uh, talking about MVC, which is a model, view, and controller. And so as I understand it, uh, the model is basically the database where you store the information. Uh, the controller uh, is basically the part of the uh, data model. Maybe it's not data model, but um, that's not the correct term, programming model. Uh, the controller uh, basically abstracts or pulls information uh, from the model. Uh, and then you have your view, which in this case, since we're going to be building a web app, is what uh, the end user sees, what the customer sees, what your visitor sees, so what you pull out of the model via the controller and push out to the view. So I think it's really interesting. We even, one of the folks who are in, who's in the study group, I mean, he's actually an iPhone developer, so he's wanting to learn this because it's like a different language for him. Hadia is teaching it because she wants to, you know, get better at, you know, what, are, what she does, you know, for her job during the day, which is great. And I want to learn it in a group environment because, I mean, that's why I started Fresh Workshops, because I believe that uh, learning in a live group environment is very helpful. And if you teach what you're trying to learn, it definitely works better. That's true. So I'm having a great time. I'm really excited. Um, here you can probably see I have um, Chris Pine's book, Learn to Program, right here. I also have HTML, XHTML and CSS for Dummies. Um, a WordPress book, a couple of different things. Uh, so I'll be picking up um, some Ruby on Rails books, but mostly I'm really going to stick with uh, what we're learning in the sessions and going along at that pace. So I'm really excited about this. We also talked about a little bit about Facebook authentication today, at least how it applies to the MVC model. So it'll be really interesting to see how things go. I'm excited so far and really looking forward to see what we're going to build uh, together. So until next time, as always, embrace your inner nerd. Bye.